I was coming back from like a party in a neighborhood close to me. One of my friends was, was a little bit intoxicated and he got into a bit of bad words. The next minute, we we're being swarmed by like six, seven grown men. And we're like 15, 16 year old kids. That was the first moment in my life where I'd been like, whoa, this is scary, you know? This is a real fight. When you see that many people and they're coming at you with malicious intent, I just remember them yelling, you're gonna die tonight. My name is Navajo. I'm a professional fighter. I always wanted to be like the popular guys, the ones who have everything and people that had money and stuff. I had always wanted that for myself. I wondered why I didn't have flash shoes and cool stuff and the cool clothes, why I wasn't the best looking. They used to go through my mind a lot as a kid. I used to blame the world. And, and you'll, you'll soon find out, like, you carry on with that mindset. You'll dig yourself a hole, you're never gonna get anywhere with that. I didn't realize till I had grown into my older years. And I had a lot to be grateful for, like just having food on the table and being able to go to school. Some people don't have that. All my friends in school got into fights and I was kind of the bystander. I was actually a small guy growing up. I had played first five, being subbed off. That kind of stuff happened to me. And when you're in the ring, no one can sub you out, it's just you. Ko ngā tānga takatoa e whara i a rātou umanga, me te aha i tēnā wā tonu, ka ara he whakatau, ka whakaira nei koe kia taui, kia hinga, ka kaingi a rā nei o na tairo. E tai ana e te hinengaro, me te tīnana, e taumata whakamiharo nei te kake. Engari ko te hinengaro te tuakano o te tīnana. We are in Upper Hutt Māori Bank. Yeah, I was about 16, you know, just coming back from a party. One of my friends got into an argument. We tried to stop the altercation. There's a whole gang of friends come out of this party. You're hearing these guys, you know, yelling at you. We're gonna die tonight. And I thought to myself, am I gonna die? What has my life been up to this point? I got knocked out. I didn't have anything in, inside of me, you know, to know who I am. It was like a pivotal moment in my life. You know, surviving that, you know, is, is a blessing. I feel like that made me stronger. And when I fight and I think about one man, you know, I'm just like, this guy, he's got nothing over me. Iakoe e fakatoka i te matu o o hia hia, kia tupato ki ngā tāngata ka to haina e koe e nā wawata. He māma i o nā wā kia ākitea koe i e tahi atu, kia riro katoa atu tāu i whakapito ngoi au. Oh, far out, this place has changed heaps. The Lion Pit in Wellington, my old gym. Oh, bro. Good to see you, brother. See you, brother. Yeah, I've put like a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this place. They told me their plans and how many fights they could get me. When you can tell like a fighter that like, you can get them a lot of fights and 
and put them out there. That's that's exactly what you want to hear. So, you know, I've gained so much experience from this place and all my teachings that I've learned. Had like a big sense of family here. It's definitely been the most influential place in my life. March 2021, decided to make the move. When I had planned everything out, already knew exactly what I needed to do. It wasn't hard leaving Wellington. It didn't feel like I was running away from anything. It was just a time where I was looking for a new stage in my life. And I was getting really comfortable. So I needed to get that feeling again of, you know, getting uncomfortable and putting myself out there and to one day be something great. Yakuea Whenever we have Fano or visitors, visitors. <laughs> oh, let's put it on. <laughs> we'll put it on for you. You might not want to watch it, but they're watching it. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people say, How can you watch your son fight? Uh, easy. <laughs> I, I, I think it's more so now, Nev, I worry about you're going to hurt the other person rather than you get hurt. It would be good to see Sterling use that lead hand. Even back to the beginning, like me micromanaging on the sideline, thinking I know best, <laughs> telling him to kick, telling him to throw a jab, telling him this, and now I don't have to do anything because I don't know enough to help yeah, him yeah, out. Yeah. So it's just like <clears throat> I've gone from the coach, <laughs> come think I know what I'm talking about, to just let him do his work. <laughs> Do you have all my old belts, Mum? Yeah, this is my first title. Uh, this was in Wanganui. I like this one the most because crowd was was amongst it. It wasn't just like, oh, who are these two guys? It was like, yo, this this is gonna be a massive fight. I trained my ass off for this one. But yeah, they were just dust collectors now. Fancy tiaras. Ia koe ka tū ki te matataki. Ka rangona e koe te wana o te whakaminenga. Ka himata te tatau iho ko tō kapa ki te tuara i a koe. Ko ngā mahi katoa ko ārahi atu i a koe ki te nei wā. Ka rongo koe i ngā tāngata e titihawa atu ana ki a koe. Patu a ia. Me he tani whakoe. Sometimes I think, how the hell did I get here? Man, I, I could just run out this door right now and, and forget everything. For some reason I stay and I, I face it head on, breathe and, and when I get in the ring, it's just second nature to me. It's all instinctive. I don't want to be another sheep. He mai a ki te tangata ka tūwhiti i ona hiahia, tēnā i te tangata ka tūraki i ona hoariri. I nā hoki ko te eke panuku uua katoa, ko te eke panuku ki a koe ano. I want people to remember me even when I'm gone. I'm born for this.